face to replay. <laughs> I was like, she kept looking at him. I'm like, did she not see him standing there? Surprise! We've all known about it. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I even Do you see you why? Phone. Do you see why I wanted to go paint so bad? <laughs> oh yeah, she's like, why are y'all going to paint? Why can't y'all do it another day? And I'm like, well, I can't that. do it another day. Hi. Oh my God. Now you know why I've been looking at cars. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Well, come on in where it's warm. Okay, we gotta get some. Hi. A big surprise at the San Antonio Rock and Roll Marathon over the weekend. Sergeant Jonathan Gillis just returned home from duty in Afghanistan. He wanted to surprise his wife who was running at a half marathon. He was waiting for her at the finish line. She was overwhelmed with joy as she ran into his arms. I can't explain it. Uh, I just, I just really miss my wife. I'm just glad I'm home. I wanted to cry before because I wanted him to be here so bad. So it's nice that he's here. I love you. The couple have not seen each other since last January. Wow, made her run worth it. Cover. Hundreds of local high school seniors are preparing to graduate this week. When they do, it's likely their family and friends will be in the crowd watching. But one Mayo High School girl was pretty sure her brother wouldn't be there. You see, Sergeant Chad Clement is currently on his third tour in Iraq. But as you're about to find out, he just wasn't going to miss this very special day. For four years, Brianna Clement has spent hours in this classroom. Hours collecting the goodies and packing them up to send to local soldiers serving overseas, all as part of Operation Hometown Gratitude. My brother and uncle overseas, and I thought it, it was just really nice and important to send them packages mm -hmm. and remind them that they're still remembered and loved here. So it only seems fitting after giving so much to this project. He was all that she wanted for graduation. In this room is where her biggest graduation wish would come true. Chad! Chad! <laughs> I 
it was a very good surprise. It was almost emotional for me. I had to, I had to choke it back a little bit. Planning started weeks ago. Talked to my platoon sergeant and chain of command, and I was, I admit, I was hounding them. Once he told me that he could get the lead, I knew we could pull it over on Brianna. Even on my Facebook page, everywhere it said, "Oh, I don't think I'll be able to make it and stuff," and I just kind of accepted that. I was expecting that. Incognito, stick me here. I'm not here. I don't exist. He had to catch him a couple times because he put a message on Facebook that he's heading home. He can't wait. The countdowns. I was like, "Can't take that down." In the end, though, all that planning and all the hiding was worth it. To have them together is important. I'm very proud of her. That is fantastic. I love it. I. That was my one thing that I really wanted. Sergeant Clement gets 15 days of leave now. He says he'll spend that time with family, watching his sister graduate, and just enjoying being home. Then he'll head back to Iraq to finish out. You got, help me grab my bags. Right here. Here, they're all in here. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> How does it make you feel? How does that make you feel good, huh? You know how hard this was? Yeah. No, nobody knows except for us right here. This is it. I want to tell you about a tearful reunion that has been months in the making. A local military dad travels halfway around the world to surprise his teenage daughter. Fox 5's Caitlin Pratt has the story. Shelby Ussery had her gloves, her shin pads, and as captain of the Thunder Soccer Club, her team spirit, all ready to go for the first game in Saturday's tournament. What the 11-year-old didn't have is any idea. Her one holiday wish was about to come true. Shelby is a goalie. The net inside these posts is special to her. So it was fitting that one of the most special people in her life, her father, would be standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Army National Guard Sergeant Richard Ussery has been in Iraq for a year. Okay. Love you. I do. A recent ankle injury made a Christmas visit home a possibility, but. <laughs> you gotta let go. Shelby's mother, her soccer coaches were all in on the surprise. A surprise hard to hide the last few days that had to be put in place. Very careful and a lot of sneaking around where she wouldn't know what was going on. I thought she turned around once, but the coach kind of got her attention back a couple of times. <laughs> Engineered so that this father could see his daughter doing what she loves, what he's missed all season long. See you play. <laughs> It's an unexpected gift. Well, I still have tears in my eyes, so you know, it's the best for me. I don't know about her, but I can tell you it's the best for me. In Athens, Caitlin Pratt, Fox 5 News. Precious moment. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ussery will be home for three days before he returns to Fort Hood, Texas. Now, it's unclear right now when he'll be home for good. Those plans depend on whether the sergeant has to go any surgery for his a ankle. Is it starting? Yeah. Everybody goes to practice. Why are you focused? Not focused? Yeah. Bad surprise, my mom. She has an hour, come home. No, my God! Thank <laughs> you. 